Yo, yo, what up guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. And today I have for you a money glitch that you can all, well, it's, okay, let me say it this way. It's a gift card to friends that you can also use as a money glitch, okay? And I actually recommend also using it as a money glitch. I rarely ever say that because usually you need custom plates for gift cards to friends, at least for the most part. Not this one, guys. This one is quick, fast, easy, and does not require custom plates. All right, this is the glitch to do. Everybody needs to jump on this pronto, all right? So I'm gonna quickly just go over the founders. You got Lost Glitches, Apocalypse, Freight Train, Killer, and Brune Tangle. They'll all be down in the description. And shout out to Mod B for actually showing me this uh, earlier this morning. I just, you know, I couldn't find myself to post it. I was just way too tired, so I wanted to wait a little while. But uh, yeah, so the requirements, what you're gonna need is, you do need an MOC with the vehicle storage, okay? You want an MOC with the vehicle storage and you want any vehicle in there that you do not mind losing, all right? So free Elegy, uh, Fagio, any bike, a Sanchez, whatever you want, something you don't mind losing, all right? Now, I also recommend you get a bunch of Fagios or RH8s, more, more along the lines of Fagios and the ability to sign in as an MC president so that you can actually rinse and repeat very, very quickly, okay? Like I said, you do not need custom plates for this glitch, okay? No need for custom plates, so don't worry about that. All right, so now, obviously you need a friend to help you out. You need your friend's vehicle that he's giving you. My friend's gonna be giving me an LG Retro Custom like you see right here, and you need a facility. Facility needs to be full, all right? You want the facility to be full, and that's basically it. So, as you can see right here, what's going on in the background? I actually owned another facility, and I chose not to use it because the location was just kind of shit, all right, to do this glitch. So I bought the windmill facility. Now, you saw where my MOC was? My MOC was in the position to get the driving animation. It needs to be on flat ground. So this is where I moved to, the wind or the wind farm. I think it's called the wind farm facility, okay? So I moved there because the MOC, there's a good place to park it where you have the driving animation. Now, you saw my friend's retro. That's the retro he's giving me. He is going to go ahead and just park that right next to my MOC, just like that. And that's ready to go. Now, he also has his MOC cab out. I recommend the MOC cab because obviously you can't have two personal vehicles out. So just have him take his MOC cab and have him park it pretty close by, kind of where you see me or where you see him parked right here. All he's going to end up doing right now is he's actually going to push me towards my MOC. So make sure you're set up like that. The MOC needs to be on flat ground. And then you need your friend's car that he's giving you right next to the, uh, to the back of the MOC. And what he is doing right now is hopping into his you know moc cab and he's just gonna simply push me now now you're gonna hear it i'm gonna actually have the volume up on this very first go but all he's doing right now is just pushing me towards the moc all right you want him to just push you to the moc so that you're facing that blue circle and you have the ability to press right d-pad you know so not too far and uh and aligned kind of with you know with the back of the moc you guys know what i mean you guys have parked you know cars in there and remember it must have the driving animation or it's not going to work now this works on xbox one and ps4 i'm doing this on the xbox so i'm going to show you what to do here so now right there you saw what i just did right there i actually pressed when i was in position when i was ready to go i press a right d-pad a okay once you get this weird cutscene, press y all right, and you see your guy will start walking towards the retro or the, you know, whatever car you're being given and you're going to get sucked right in. Okay, that, it's that easy, guys. So on PlayStation, once you're set up in position, your friends told you he's pushed you to that position and you're good to go. It's going to be X, right? D-pad X. There isn't any timing to this. There's no timing whatsoever. And that's it. You want to go ahead and grab that car and drive it out. Now, what I forgot to show you right here is I'm just going to return it to storage right here and then call up a Fagio so that I can rinse and repeat very, very quickly. But what I forgot to show you is the actual uh, plate that changes. As you can see, that's the duplicate right there, my friend's car. The, the car will duplicate for your friend. Those that think gift cars to friends, you just, you're literally giving your friends your cars. Like, I mean, you are, but you're duplicating the, the car for your friend. So it's a little bit different. So what I recommend, as you can see right there, I just called up a Fagio through my MC, and then now I'm putting it inside of the MOC, and boom, just like that, I'm actually ready to go ahead and dupe another car, or, you know, get a, get a dupe from my friend. So, at this point, like before, you just go ahead, your friend puts the, uh, the car that you want in place right there, and you go ahead and you make your way to the street, and you grab another street car, okay? Just like that, guys. So, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and make my way up to the facility once again, 
and we're gonna just keep showing you guys how you rinse and repeat this and do this mad quick now I recommend this facility I really do I tried it at the other facility and it was a pain all right it was a super pain in the ass because you know the only flat ground that I had was all the way down at the street so your friend has to push you all the way down at the street and then you have other cars to worry about it's really not worth it I recommend just getting this facility I think it was 1.3 million for me to move there have them give you two retros boom there you go you've already paid for the uh you know for the for the transfer you know over there to the other facility uh so it's that easy guys so right now my friend's pushing me once i'm in position a right d-pad a x right d-pad x okay once you get to, to this screen press y or triangle you can see and as you can see right here walking towards the retro or whatever car he's giving you boom you get sucked right in now check this out this is the clip that i really wanted you to see so i'm gonna get in and i'm gonna drive it out look it has a roll easy plate on it that he had now once i drive it out check the plate out right now so look at the plate there you go that is the plate now i think this plate is coming from the streetcar. it could be from the faggio that's inside i think it's i think it's actually the faggio that's inside the moc because i think that's what's being overridden you're kind of glitching it out on the outside with the streetcar, but i do believe that that plate is coming from the faggio i'll make sure to check but yeah guys you get clean plates for this so this is one of those you know gift cards to friends that we do recommend to use as a money glitch remember if you guys need friends just go down in the comment section right now and just you know post you know your gamer tag or your psn id and just let people know hey i need a friend let them know what facility you got maybe you guys can you know move to you know the same facility maybe you can make a friend yo i've made a few friends just by being in the comment section of other youtubers videos before i started posting videos all right i have met a few people like that and they've been good people you might meet some weirdos all right but you know that's part of it all right guys you'll never know if you don't you know if you don't go out there and put yourself out there and try to make some other friends because i know some of you guys you know only prefer solo glitches but they don't come around all the time all right they really don't so this is one of those you know two player glitches that you really really want to take advantage of and have a friend for so as you can see right here we're gonna do another rinse and repeat very quickly I got the facility full alert, my friend is pushing me. Once I'm in position, I'm just gonna hit A, right D-pad A. No timing, X, right D-pad X, okay? No timing whatsoever, just hit them, you know, boom, boom, boom. Just hit them like that. Check it out, you see that? Now I'm gonna get this weird glitchy cutscene. Once I'm there, hit Y or triangle, and you see that I'm gonna walk right to my friend's car. Once I get into the driver's seat, it'll auto suck me right in super, super quick. Just like that, guys, okay? so. That is really, you know, the majority of the glitch. Drive it out. I think this is necessary, so make sure you drive it out and then drive it back in because you can see the plate change, obviously, so it hasn't fully, fully merged until you drive the car out. So drive it out and then back in. That will ensure that it's saved. And then this is at the point where you hit, you know, where you go ahead and you sign in as your MC. Well, make sure you just sign in as your MC from the beginning. And then you can go ahead and call up your Fagio, put it in there, and you're ready to go ahead and, you know, and actually rinse and repeat now if you want to make it even quicker have your friend you know go ahead and grab the street car once he's done and he's gotten his car back in place behind the moc for you once he has you know his moc cab ready to go at that point to hit you he can even go down there he or she i should say could even go down there and grab another street car for you so that you can actually just be ready to go and this can be as fast as possible and then you guys can switch off okay so it's mad easy, mad quick. Like I said, you don't need custom plates. MOC must have the personal vehicle storage. Every time we use the MOC for a glitch, I always have people ask me, can I have the vehicle workshop in the MOC? Guys, it's, it's a completely different monster. The MOC vehicle workshop is only for war stock vehicles. So if you get that message that says this vehicle cannot be entered into uh, or this vehicle can't be modified in the MOC or you can't enter it, that's because you don't have the personal vehicle storage. Okay, buy the personal vehicle storage. It's about 195K. All right. So this is going to be the last clip right here that I'm showing you guys of rinsing and repeating. Obviously, in a video of this length, if I can duplicate four cars that quickly for you guys, that shows you how fast you can do this glitch. So once I'm in position, remember my friends pushed me, A right D-pad A, X right D-pad X on PlayStation, okay? Glitchy cutscene, press Y or triangle. I actually got pushed. <laughs> this actually covered, you saw that? My character started walking around, started walking around to the passenger seat and check it out. Still works going into the passenger seat. Look at that. You saw the car duplicate uh, over there actually outside and then boom there we go all right so 
that's going to be it, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Take advantage of this glitch right now while you still can. Just came out fresh today. Shout out to the founders once again. They will be down in the description. You know, make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.